Hey everyone, AJ here. It's uh, October, you know what that means. Halloween time is upon us. So I thought I would take some of these oversized Star Ruby grapefruit, which are gonna be a little dry inside, so not quite great for eating, but they make great little pumpkins. jack lanterns not pumpkins. So I got an, all kinds of ingredients here. Got some old corn, peppers, uh, grapes, carrot tops and some flowers and a lily and I am going to take my knife out here and just start carving away. So one of the first things I like to do is find the face. We're going to go right here. Is our face going to be right there? Maybe I should go this way. So our face is going to be right here. And the first thing I do is go on the back side and cut a little flat spot. And hopefully not mess it up. That way it sits flat and doesn't accidentally roll away on me. All right, let's do this. We're gonna start pretty basic right here. And just cut these guys up like this. Ink. Yep, this one I wanna get all of it out. So it's kinda of hollow looking. I guess they are juicy. Boy, proved me wrong quick, didn't it? All right, we're gonna keep on going though. All right, we've got our eyes going. Now we're gonna just do the mouth, which is kind of like a little, just a typical, uh, jack-o-lantern jack -lantern style. We will get more sophisticated. I don't know if you can say the words more and sophisticated in the same sentence, but I'm gonna do it as we go with the other ones. As the creative juices start flowing and we get some interesting ideas going. I've been doing this for, oh, I don't know, 15, 20 years. A friend of mine taught me named Gabriel, he was amazing at it. He could cut up everything. And so he kind of taught me how to do it or just I kind of learned just by watching him. And I thought it was pretty cool. So every Halloween I kind of do this. Since after all we have oranges and grapefruit and uh, grape oranges aren't quite big enough for this. They're just a little bit too small. So you get the right grapefruit, pull it out. Pink. Pink. And I'm gonna take all this white stuff out here. This is the, the rind. All right, it was way juicier than I thought it was gonna be. All right, now we're getting somewhere. What else can we do to it? Like I say we take one of these peppers And we're gonna give it a nice long tongue. So we're just gonna cut the pepper open. And these are older peppers. They've been sitting on the counter for a while, which is perfect. Take it like so, you can shove it in there. Whoops, I gotta cut a little bit more out in there. We're gonna shove that in there. We're gonna take some, oh, let's say, red grapes. Oops. Fantastic red grapes. How about a red one and a green one? Shove it in there in the eyes. <laughs> that looks a little weird with a red and a green one. Let's not do that. Let's put two larger red ones in there. There we go. That's looking a little better. Now that we got that going, let's see here. I think this one is just going to get a unicorn. What do you say? A unicorn sticking out? Or on top? Or across? Or two of them? I'm not 100% sure what to do here. Let's say... Let me see here. I might reuse that. I might reuse that. Let me say. Let me think here. What should be next? I got some flowers too. 
That looks like he's got googly eyes. I will have a close-up of these for you. Let's see. Do I want to go that way? I wonder if I can make a hat out of this thing. That might work. I'm going to make a weird looking hat. Oops. All right, I got that. I got that. That'll work. All right, this is just the piece that I cut off the, the bottom side. So I'm going to stick that on there with that and make like a hat. Now all I need to do is, I forgot to bring toothpicks, but no problem. As this is an orange grove, there are sticks everywhere. So I'm going to take this little stick and see if I can't stick this all together. There's that. There we go. Make another one here. Go through it. Bam. All right, now I'm gonna make a little hole right here for that stick to go in there and hold it all together. And it doesn't quite look like a hat. Let me show you what I'm working with. Not quite what I was looking for. What you can see, he's got kind of weird eyes. But that's the first one. We're gonna move right on to the second one. Let's see here, let's pick another one out. This one I want a little bit wider instead of taller. And this is a perfect little face right here of it. All right, so I'm gonna go to the opposite side, going underneath here and cut a little piece off here. That just makes it sit flat, you know, because as this table moves, these ones are gonna roll off. This one will most likely stay there. Then again, it's already made a liar out of me once, so it might roll off there too. All right. This one we're going to just start carving, I guess. Go this way. All right. One eye's done. There we go. Carve out the other eye here. Uh -oh. This guy looks like he's been kicked in the head by a horse a few times. I might have to fix that. Yeah. All right, it's gonna be lazy eye. That's what he's gonna be. I gotta fix that. He looks like he's been kicked on the horse way too much. All right. Did I mess this up beyond recognition? Nope. We'll make it work somehow. We'll just make this eye bigger now. All right. Get all that out. Come on. In or out. There we go. That works. All right. Let's see here. Now we're going to do a mouth on this one and we're going to use, what can we use? And I think we're going to use the carrot tops on this guy. Yeah. And we're going to do the same thing. Well, this time we're only going to give him two teeth. Go like this. And you get some Razor sharp teeth going here. Let's see here. I need to go down here. Whew. It might be October here, but it sure is hot outside. It is typically warm oop, in Southern California year round. All right, we're just gonna pull this out now. I wonder how this guy tastes. 
Mm. That is a good grapefruit. All right. Let's see here. Just trying not to get this juice in my eyes because you're going to see grown man cry otherwise. Let's see here. We're going to give him some green eyes. Oop. Give this guy some green eyes sitting there. Uh oh. Yeah, that one's too small. Let's look for a bigger one. Will this one fit? There we go. Kind of fits. I'm going to give this guy a mohawk too. Take that, and now we're going to take some of our carrot tops, like this. I'm going to shove it in there. Nope, a little bit deeper there. There we go. That'll work. Got our scissors here, and we're going to cut some off here. Let's see. I'm going to get my hair cut. Yeah, it's coming together. Oop. There we go. Oop, his eye moved. Part of his hair is in his... Eyeball, there we go. All right, we can do that. Take another one of these guys and make him make him a tongue. All right, give me that stick here. I need another another stick to stick in there and hold him in there. He's gonna have a pierced tongue is what he's gonna have. Bam, pierced tongue. All right. Let me show you what I got here. Tell me what you think. He's got a little mohawk going on. Yeah. It looks more like a, doesn't quite look like a mohawk in there. All right. Now let's keep on going here. This is always fun to do. Oh my God, the sun went behind a cloud. Let's do it again. Once you get used to or start doing it, it's just so much fun to do. You start thinking of more and more things you want to do and... Who needs pumpkins when you got grapefruit? Pumpkins are overrated. Okay, so on this one, I got these little flowers. I think I might use these as their hair. Oh, you know what? I'm, nope, I'll do that on another one. This one's got the perfect face. So I'm gonna do this other thing. He's gonna have a big, smiley, happy face. He's gonna have round eyes, what kind of eyes as you want. Mm. Can't think of which eyes I wanna put on him. Yeah, we're going to go with the same eyes, and hopefully this time, I do it to right. And this one's going to be a little bit different. Yeah, there we go. That looks better. All right, now he's gonna get a big smiley face. Let's see here. Let's see, carve this one out like so.
Now this one I'm not gonna take out completely. I'm just gonna take out the outer skin and leave the white rind in there so I can make the uh, teeth out of it. Takes a little bit more care in doing this. Can't quite just grab it and go. Let's see. Make sure I don't give him any unnecessary scars. And if I do, I'll just, you know, say he was in a fight. That's how I'll fix that problem. Uh oh. I don't think I went deep enough here. Let's see here, it's coming out there. Perfect. Carve that out. A little bit deeper here. All right, let me show you that. So you can see I left all the, uh, the rind in there. It's just, I took the outer peel off, and then I'm just gonna carve in here. You can see that all right? I'm gonna carve in his teeth. Right. And this one. Right. Yeah, there we go. All right. Now, if I wanted to, or if you want to, you can take one of these out, make him look like a hillbilly. Let's see here. What else are we gonna do to this guy? I'm gonna give him a tongue as well. I'm gonna make a slight incision between two teeth, or the up row, upper row and lower row. Let's see here. <laughs> Yeah, that works. Then we'll take these guys right here and we'll do two of them. He's gonna have little pigtails. There's one there, this one's too long. Right here. Oops, let me cut that with the scissors. So it goes in there straight. All right. Give him some red eyes. Hmm, that eye's not going in there. It's too big. It's too big for him. There we go. You know what? He's gonna have one eye facing the other direction. He's, uh, he's gonna be a little off. Perfect. Let's see, anything else we should do with this guy? Should he get this? I don't know, once you see his eyes, you might wanna, you'll feel sorry for him. You'll see why I'm giving him all the flowers. It's gonna make it look like it's going behind his ear. <laughs> there we go. Well, this is what I came up with. What do you guys think? Is this a waste of time or does it look decent? There's another one for you. All right, let's see if we can do another one here. I am running out of, we'll do this one. We'll do a green tongue. We've got two flowers. And that's about it. All right. And some more corn. All right, guys. Where's the face on this one? I'm going to go with right there. Perfect. You know what? I might use this for the tongue this time. We'll 
We'll just carve this skin up here. And make it look like the tongue instead. There we go. Now I'm gonna carve down the center of it. In case you're wondering, by the way, this knife is not sharp at all. Yeah, well, I'll use that for his tongue. All right, now we're going to go start carving. We'll give him some triangular eyes. You know what? We're gonna see if I can get that eyeball to stay just like that. So it's like it's eyes popping out of his head. There we go. This side will take out all the way. Ah, that didn't work. I was a little too aggressive with that one. Okay. This one we're going to give a nose to. Forgot to do that in the other ones. Not sure how they're breathing. There we go. Let's see here. I got that one, I got that one. I'm going to do a... Well, his eyes look a little scary. So we're going to give him a little less of a smile, but a lot of sharp teeth. That's what he's going to get. Just Slowly working your way over there. Oops. Making the teeth hopefully all the same length. But you never know. This has got to be boring to watch. I probably shouldn't say that, huh? All right. He's almost there. I'm going to show you what I'm working with here in a second. How far over did I do this one? There we go. So I got his teeth cut up here. His nose is still attached slightly. And there's his mouth. So we're going to do the same thing the other way on the bottom side. And do the same thing. Do, 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 do. So how's your guys' uh, October going? Anybody out there into Halloween? Anybody got a cool name for these? You know, they called pumpkins like jack-o'-lanterns. Maybe it be a grapefruit lantern? Um, jack of fruit No, that can't be right. Um, I don't know. But I know one thing, you don't need no pumpkins to do this. Halloween's awesome. Weather starts changing. Even though it's hot here, it's not as hot. It's kind of manageable. All right. Now we're just gonna pull all this off here. And then, let's see. What shall I do for his mouth? Oh, too bad I didn't have a cigar. I can make it look like he's smoking a cigar or something. Nope, no cigar. We're going to tobacco free zone. I like this thing. Here, 
I'm going to cut that off there. And shove it in there. Let's see here. Give him some more eyes. Get in there. And I barely fits in there. Um. Oh, that's right. I was going to do this thing for the tongue. Will this work for the tongue? Oh, it will. That just might work right there. See, I totally forgot about it. All right, thank you for reminding me. Now, we got a couple of these guys left. Yeah, let's just shove them in there. Or should these ones be his ears? And what if we use some of these kernels Ooh, for eyes? Would that work? Wow. That pepper's spicy. Woo. I can smell it from here. Yikes. Good thing I didn't eat it, huh? That could have ended badly. What do I want to do here? Ears on top. Mm. Yeah, I think we're going to go with the ears. Well, it's not really ears. There we go. Whoops. I messed up his, his ear, man. <laughs> that didn't come out right. Should I leave the nose there? All right, let me show you. What do you think? How'd this one turn out? Oh boy, just some more fun out here. Let me line them up here. Well, what's your guys' favorite? So that's what I do for Halloween. I also do uh, jack-o'-lanterns. Because, you know, as much fun as this is, it is also fun to, you know, do a big one. Oh, this was really sideways. Yeah, it didn't come out right. So there you have it, folks. I got four of them carved up with uh, just a few supplies here and there. It's really fun to let your creativity run wild. I hope you guys are going to have a, a very happy Halloween and uh, enjoy your haul or your October. Because, you know, October is what a great month. November, December, fantastic time of year. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching. And you know, what do you guys think of my shirt, by the way? I got this new camouflage t-shirt here so that, uh, you know, you can't see how much weight I have gained because, you know, that's how camouflage works, right? You can no longer see me because I blend in with the background, right? Please, I hope. Anyways, you guys have a happy Halloween uh, and enjoy. I hope you guys like this. All right, folks, now I'm back inside. I just wanted to wrap things up and uh, I didn't know how well the, the video was gonna come out because I'm not a filmmaker, I'm actually just a farmer, but I gave it my best and they turned out all right, these little guys. So I wanted to tell you, I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much. I hope you guys have a great Halloween. I love every one of you and, uh, you know, stay safe and, well, enjoy. I think, by the way, I think I like this guy the best. I don't know why. The googly eyes just kind of, uh, I don't know. He just kind of looks cool. <laughs> I think he might be my best. Still don't have a name for him. But anyways, I just wanted to uh, you know, say thank you for watching. All right, you guys have a great uh, Halloween. Bye.